going on a, a narrow boat from Monday to Friday and I'm taking with me my husband Tony, Captain Birdseye, and my two daughters, our two daughters and their two fiancés. So, good times. Hello and welcome to a windy Making New Memories vlog. <laughs> We're actually going out on a canal boat. Ooh. Yes, at last. Ooh, at, at last. last. A short trip for Mrs. L's birthday. We'll tell you more about that later on. Not too much, please. Uh, okay, yeah. We won't say whether it's 5 0, 6 0. Don't go, do not go any higher. Okay, fine. We won't go any higher then. <laughs> I know where my bread's buttered. Anyway, before we go any further, a big, big thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, glad that you're on board with us, uh, sharing our journey, uh, which is not that far away now, is it really? No. Not far away. We'll obviously tell you more as we go and as the weeks progress. And it is only weeks now, not months like it was before. Anyway, so we're on the Trent and Mersey. We're starting at uh, Great Haywood and we're going to get down to just beyond Fradley and then we're going to turn around, come back and then wind just past Great Haywood, back under the bridge and then uh, we'll moor up at uh, Tixel Wide and then go back home. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. This is quite a special trip for us. Aside from the fact we haven't been on a narrowboat for the last four years, we were able to bring all our family with us, our two daughters and both of their fiancés. This area of the Trenton Mersey Canal is quite rural. Over in the distance, you can see Cannock Chase. Chase is just another name for a forest. And whereas a forest is controlled by a monarch, a chase in 1290 became part of the forest belonging to the Bishop of Coventry and Lichfield. So here we are at Colwich Lock number 21 on the Trent and Mersey Canal. The Trent and Mersey Canal Act was passed in Parliament in 1766. James Brindley was appointed engineer for the project. Construction took 11 years and the 93 mile canal was opened in 1777 and went from Derwent Mouth to Preston Brook. There's a total of 76 locks on the Trent and Mersey Canal. Colwich Lock here near Little Haywood is lock number 21.
It's great to see the back gardens of people's houses. Some of them go to quite extraordinary lengths to keep us boaters really entertained. What on earth is that? A woodpecker. It's funny because when you're going past, you think, no, I won't look into that garden, I won't look into that garden, but you always do. It's always nice to see other boats out on the canal. It shows that the network is being used as it should. It's just strange that how, as soon as you've gone past one boat, you can bet your bottom dollar there will be another one along any minute now. Probably, yeah. <laughs> we decided to moor up in this lovely tranquil spot just outside of Rugeley. And I think you have to admit that autumn is a really special time on the canals. The trees look absolutely gorgeous in their autumn overcoats. concentrating on steering so um and I'm too short again <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should get something to stand on uh, and also this this boat hasn't got a convenient place to put a camera at the right size unfortunately um but there we go so we're on the Trenton Mersey we're heading towards Fradley famous canal junction uh, where the Trenton Mersey and the Coventry Canal um, meets uh, we're going to stop off before that for a bit of shopping. Uh, the girls want some retail therapy, I think, or some food, one or the other. Food it'll be. Yeah, yeah. and then we'll obviously get through Fradley. It's going to be quite busy around there, I guess. We need some water as well, seeing as there's six of us on board. Yeah, we, yeah, we definitely need some water. Um, so yeah, here we go, day two.
Uh, Tony, just tell them what time you went to bed last night. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether this is canal air or what. It wasn't alcohol. It no, wasn't no. alcohol. I had one glass of beer and that was it. And um, Ooh, what hurts. was it? Half seven? No. Half past seven? No, no, no. Quarter to eight. Oh, okay. <laughs> Quarter to eight, I had a 15 minute extra. So yes. It's been the longest yeah. night of my life. <laughs> Quarter to eight, I went to bed. There, there's something about um, the air when you get on a boat that is very, um, what is it? Well, it knocks you out. It knocks you out for six, yeah. <laughs> but I must say, coming boating at this time of year, I know summer is nice and warm and everything else, but this time of year, you've got lovely colors in the trees. The leaves are turning a golden brown and it is a quite a magical time if you can, and the sun's coming in and out at the moment so apologies if we look like we're golden tanned one minute and <laughs> freezing cold the next well i've already seen foxes peacocks kingfisher your normal cattle um bats hang yeah. on hang on what is the bat coming to us is no. it all right okay. just straightening up no we're just straightening up The canal crosses the River Trent here and uh, we've just stopped off because the kids, well I say kids, they're all in their 20s now, uh, have gone off shopping. Uh, but yeah, nice little spot this. Remember me telling you earlier how some homeowners whose gardens back onto the canal make quite a lot of effort to put on displays for us boaters? Well, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite as elaborate as this. I suppose the name of the boat, Downting Sheep, should give it away a little bit. This is Naomi's Landing, and during the seasons they have different displays. And of course, with it being Halloween... They've gone all spooky and ghostly. Staffordshire is well known for its ceramic and pottery history. No more so than here in Armitage. And if you were scared by Naomi's landing earlier, this might come as a little bit of a relief for you. <coughs> Sorry, that is a pond. This building we're going past here on our right is Armitage Shanks, who make, amongst other things, toilets. The company that was to become Armitage Shanks was founded in 1817 by Thomas Bond. Two years later, he went bankrupt and sold out to John Haynes, after which it passed through various owners. The Reverend Edward Johns became its owner in 1867 and traded as Edward Johns. There is some speculation that the phrase going to the John was coined as a result of Edward Johns and his move into the manufacture of toilets. It was 1960 when the name changed to Armitage Ware, and then in 1965 it merged with a competitive company called Shanks and became Armitage Shanks. It's now owned by the company American Standard.
You enjoying it? Yeah. Oh yes. Because this is really Jan's 60th birthday present. It's nothing to do with me. Do you have to tell everyone? Oh, sorry. Uh, no, she's 58 and a bit. Is that better? No, I'm 15. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> actually that, that's, that's not far from the truth because Jan's a, a leap year baby, so she was born on the 29th of February. Yeah. So you only, have a, you only have a birthday every four years. Yeah. It's great for me, I only have to buy a present once every four years. No, 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 oh, no. Right, okay, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, it's 15th birthday this year. What do we buy, your Lego? No. A boat? Plastic anyway, we, boat? We, could, we were going to do this in March, but yeah. um, of course, Covid struck. Yeah. Um, so then we booked again for May and it was cancelled. So at last we've managed to get on board. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Bye. <laughs> Sounds like a thousand wasps, doesn't it? Anyway. Today we've moored up at uh, Fradley. Uh, this place holds a uh, little place in our hearts, doesn't it? Because Sapphire, our little boat that we used to own or part own, uh, was moored here for a number of years and we've had many good journeys from out of here, haven't we? Yeah, lovely, yeah. lovely. We've had um, one or two meals and a couple of pints or six out of the Mucky Duck, otherwise <laughs> known as the White Swan. Um, I'm not sure whether we're gonna go there tonight and celebrate. Do we have a quick half in there? We shall see. Half a gin? We shall see. Half a gin? Half a gin, yeah. Half a, half a pint of gin. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, dear. Um, so, we'll see you tomorrow. It's a whole different world. As soon as you come on a canal and you experience the water, you just feel like you're in a completely different world and you just instantly relax. There's two boats in front of us at the moment, so we've just had to stop here and wait. Mm -hmm. 